Hey everybody, welcome to VBS. We're sorry we can't be together in person, but we're gonna to try to do all the same things we would normally do at VBS. We're gonna have a Bible time, craft time, game time, snack time, and because our theme is outer space this year, we're even gonna learn some stuff about space. All right, we're gonna ask you to spread out now. Make sure you have room to move because we're gonna learn some motions to our theme song with Leah and Hannah. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Bible lesson time. Uh, I'm really excited about all the things that God is going to teach us this week. Today our lesson is about looking above our plans. You know, all of us grow up imagining what we would be when we're, when we're an adult. One of the things that I thought I might want to be was an outdoor guide. You know, but instead of leading people in a geographic way, I found myself leading people in spiritual things. So today our lesson is the story of uh, the calling of Peter. He was fishing for fish, but Jesus was going to change his plans to fish for people. I hope you enjoy the Bible lesson. One day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replied, We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, 
I'll let down the nets again. This time, their nets were so full of fish that they began to tear. A shout for help brought their other partners in the other boat. And soon, both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. For he was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught, as were the others with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Debus, Zebedee, were also amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. Wow, what a great story about uh, God's plan for Peter's life. But I'm here today to remind you that God has a plan for your life. And just like sometimes our plans, we think one way, God has something greater for us. And I just want to tell you that God's plan is the best plan for your life. And I would really encourage you to look above your plans to find God's plan for your life. Hey everybody, it's Hannah and I am going to be taking you through the craft segment of our VBS. So, as a reminder of just Peter's story with the fishing boats and everything, we are going to be making our own little fishing boats, which they're pretty easy to make and we want to try to make one that will actually float. Okay, so this one was just made out of a milk carton that was flipped inside out, re-taped, and then that's about all. We also, I took little sticks and taped some cardboard that made oars onto them. This one is a plastic bottle that was kind of cut in half. And then there's little dots of glue. You could, again, use clay or sticky tack or something. And then another dot of glue right in there holding up this stick. And then I kind of just took some markers and made a colored sail and stuck that in. Then this next one is a paper origami boat. If you want it to last longer, you could also make it out of aluminum foil and yeah. And then this next one we got, it's a little water bottle cap. And then see there's sticky tack in there with then a sail made out of paper and a little toothpick. And then this last one, this is an egg carton top with then another toothpick sail. And then this one has a kind of little top thingy. And then in this back here, there is just a piece of cardboard that was cut to the size and then taped on on the inside. Okay, I am going to show you guys how to make this origami paper boat if that's the route you wanna go for your little fishing boat. So about all you'll need for this craft is a piece of paper. So we will start by folding it in half the hot dog way or the long ways. So it should look something like this. And then we will open it back up again, fold it in half the other way. And then you will turn it so that then this open part is facing towards you. So the folded part should be away from you. Then taking one of the corners that has the folded edge, you need to fold it in to the center. You should be able to see the line that you made from folding it in half. So fold one side in and then the other side. And then you want to separate these two and fold one up, flip it over, Take these little edges that are sticking out and fold them down. It's okay if they don't stay very well, just try your best. And then we will fold up this end. Then this part's a little bit more complicated, so just pay attention. Then we take it, turn it so the side is facing up, 
and you kind of open it up and flatten it like that. Then crease it nice and well on all the sides so it stays. And then we are going to do kind of the same thing we did before and fold it up so that the points meet. Then you can do that on the other side. Fold it up so the points meet. And then you've got this kind of thick triangle. So now the next thing to do is take it sideways, hold the two edges, pull it out like this, and flatten it again. Crease those. And then take these two top things. It should be able to do this and kind of open. And you want to open it up like this. And then this inside part is kind of flat. So you will want to just use your hand, put it inside there and kind of just open it up to give it a little bit more shape. You can also fold these up a little bit more just to give your boat a little bit more edge. But that is how you make a little paper boat. Okay, thank you so much for following along with that if you did and just for all your work on your little boats. Now you can go and test out your bow in a sink or a bathtub or a pool or anything, but we are going to head down to the creek, but just make sure if you're going to a creek or some sort of body of water like that, you are careful and have parent permission or someone there with you so nothing bad happens. snack challenge for Monday. This is Ashley and Aiden and we will bring you your snack challenge. So today your theme was look above your plans and in your Bible lesson you learned about Peter and how he caught the fish in his net. So we're going to do a snack that resembles that. So the ingredients you're going to need today are some peanut butter, some pretzels. We got the ones that kind of look like a net but whatever pretzels you have will work just fine and some goldfish to look like fish. So we're going to have Aiden help us out with the cooking. So to start, you're gonna get one of your pretzels and then you're gonna put a little dab of peanut butter on it. And if you don't have peanut butter or don't really like peanut butter, you can use frosting or cream cheese, anything that will help your fish stick to your net. Just like that. And then you can stick your fish right in your peanut butter to make a really yummy snack. And you can make as many as you want, depending on how hungry you are or whatever you would like to do. So. And this will remind us of the fish that Peter caught and the miraculous fish that he caught and how Jesus um, led him and then put up that call in his life afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoy the snack. Astronauts have faith in a lot of things that are invisible or very hard to see. Right now, for example, their focus is the planet Mars. Mars may be one of the closest planets in our solar system, but it's actually pretty far away. Depending on the time of year, Mars can be up to 249 million miles away. Mars is so far away that we can hardly even see it without a telescope. It only looks like a tiny red dot in the sky. But right now, hundreds of people, including astronauts, designers, engineers, investors, and skilled craftsmen, are, are working hard and spending millions of dollars on research, training, planning, and building, all to reach this distant and almost invisible goal sometime in the future. Thanks, Nathan. It sounds like people who work in the space program have a lot of faith in a future they can't even see. Like Peter, with his fishing, most of us tend to focus on the things we can see right here and now. It's much harder to focus on the future because it's far away and we can't see it. But God has great plans for your future, and if you put your faith in Him, He will show you what to do right now to help you reach that future. Our space challenge today is to make a scale model of the solar system. If you have a big enough backyard, you can do this at home. You'll need 10 objects. You could use balls or 
buckets or chairs or cups or toys or whatever your parents say is okay to use. Just be sure to pick everything up when you're done. One object will represent the sun and the other nine objects will represent planets. We're going to take you outside now and show you what that looks like. First object is the sun and then we're going to count steps away from the sun starting with planet Mercury. Here comes Mercury. Woo! Yeah! Mercury's yeah. going to be one step away from the sun, so that's not very far. Next is Venus. Let's hear it for Venus. <laughs> Venus is going to be two steps away. Third planet is Earth, which is three steps from the sun. 93 million miles. Next is Mars. Four and a half steps from the sun. That's 141.6 million miles. Next is Jupiter. 15.5 steps from the sun. That's about 483.6 million miles. Next is Saturn. Which will be 28 and a half steps from the sun. That's 886.7 million miles. Uranus is next. That's 57.5 steps from the sun. That's 1,784 million miles. Neptune is next. That's going to be 90 steps from the sun. Yeah, Neptune! 2,794 million miles. And finally, we're going to include Pluto, the dwarf planet, at 118.5 steps from the sun. Yeah, carry, that, yeah. carry that high with pride, sir. That's going to represent 3,675 million miles. One hour later. You can start to see how big our solar system is. But our God is even bigger. And his plans for us definitely are way bigger than any plans we have for ourselves. So that's why we need to trust our future to him and look above our plans and look to Jesus. Welcome to VBS 2020, where we set our hearts on things above. It's game time. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Lisette. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Monday VBS 2020, setting our hearts on things above. Our first game is gonna be called Out of Sight. You're gonna need two objects, two buckets. You're gonna have one set closer, one set further away. The idea here is to put a tarp between the two. You can see the one, but can't see the other, just like God's plans for you. You start with throwing a ball into the first one, and then trying to see if you can make it up and over that tarp or blanket, whatever you have at home to make it work for you, and see if you can get into the second bucket. And if you don't have a tarp available, but you have a clothesline, you can also try and just throw everything over the clothesline. If you have something metal, it makes noise, that'll help indicate if you've hit that one that you can't see. And if you're not able to get anybody to come over and play with you, you can always do this by yourself or with your parent. Hey guys, welcome to VBS Games 2020. The second game for Monday is called Net Catch, and it's to remind us of the miraculous catch of fish that you learned about in today's Bible story. What you're gonna need depending on how many people you have, is dish towels or beach towels if you have more people, like four or more. Or if you have a lot of friends over, you can use a bed sheet. Make sure your mom says it's okay. You need a ball or a golf ball or an egg or something, if you wanna be crazy, you can use the egg, to put in the middle of your net. And then, as a team of two or four, use the towel to toss the ball to the other net to catch it.
right, let's do our memory verse together. It's from Colossians 3, 1. Set your hearts on things above. Now do it with us. Set your hearts on things above. One more time. Set your hearts on things above. Hi, everybody. I hope you had a great day at VBS today. Let's review our five challenges from today. First of all, our Bible challenge was to look above our plans and look to Jesus. Our craft challenge was to make a boat and see if it floats. Our games challenge was to play out of sight and net catch. Our snack challenge was to make pretzels with goldfish in them. And our space challenge was to make a scale model of the solar system. Now it's up to you guys to figure out which of those challenges you're gonna try today. We'd like you to take pictures and post them on our Facebook group to uh, show us what you've been doing. Dawson and Michaela are here at Mission Control just waiting to see what you come up with. So before we end, let's say a prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day at VBS and the fun we've had. Thank you for the fun we're going to have today as we go out and start doing these challenges. We pray that everyone would have fun and be safe. And Lord, we ask you to help us with all our plans to look above them, to look to you, most of all. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, everybody. Make sure you have room to move, because we're going to move. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe, believe. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe. And keep on looking, looking, looking to you. For where I'm going, knowing you go there too. I'll keep on looking, keep on looking, looking to you. I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes.
was awesome.